football coverage. Powered by Davis Law Firm. After taking care of the Dallas Cowboys 19-12, to the San Francisco 49ers are now getting ready to play at the Philadelphia Eagles for the NFC Championship and a Super Bowl berth on the line. Niners rookie quarterback Brock Purdy is 8-0 overall this season, including 2-0 on the road and 2-0 in the postseason. And his stats on the road are nearly as solid as his home numbers, but Purdy knows playing at Philly is going to be difficult. Like everything, you know, in, the, in these kind of games is all about communication. How can you operate smoothly, get, get in and out of the huddle, get the play off in the right way, make sure everyone's on the same page. So that's definitely a big uh, emphasis this week, just at practice with the little things, the details of uh, communicating and being on, on, on point. Um, and that starts with the cadence. So it's going to be huge for us. We have a task in front of us. We have a really good challenge, really big challenge in front of us. And as always, we just want to go out there and, and execute, you know, try and be efficient. Niners rookie offensive guard Spencer Burford is the first ever UTSA football player drafted to play in the NFC Championship game. That's after he paved the way for the Niners to beat Dallas in the NFC Divisional playoffs. We interviewed Spencer before that showdown and asked him about the speed of the NFL game, which many players who've made the jump from college to the NFL often talk about. The thing is, like, you got big, strong, fast th people everywhere, regardless of whether it's NFL. I mean, of course, you're talking about the best players in the world at yeah. the end of the day. But at the same time, the, the biggest thing that separates them, like, I would say pros from college athletes, just technique. Like, everything is so fundamental. Like, even the, the finest of details make the, the biggest of differences in, in, in gameplay. So I would say that's the biggest thing than just the knowledge that's passed around. And of course, there's been a lot of ball play. You got a lot of ball players around this building. I mean, this building is like, is, is no, no stranger to greats. So yeah. at the end of the day, so you can only imagine, you know, the expectation that we have here. So. Uh, that's what we, we pride ourselves on. So, NFC Championship between the Eagles and Niners a Sunday at 2 p.m. in Philly, and the Eagles are favored by two and a half. And check out who's up for Defensive Rookie of the Year, former UTSA DB Tariq Woolen with the Seattle Seahawks. He's joined by Ahmad Sas Gardner, cornerback for the Jets, and Lions defensive end Aiden Hutchinson. Tariq finished with six interceptions, tied for most in the NFL, 16 passes defensed, and two fumble recoveries. And did you see what happened at a men's college basketball game last night? Check it out. A food delivery person in yellow carrying a bag of Donalds walked onto the court during second half action between Loyola Chicago and Duquesne. Play was momentarily stopped to get the dude off of the court. The shocked ESPN Plus broadcast crew asked who's he delivering it to, the ref? Now some are saying this is just a prank and that he was wearing a microphone. He was escorted away and was last seen leaving with the bag of Mickey D's in his hand. We're going to see that show up on some late night show. Pro or yeah, absolutely. Somebody we will. planted wow. that. Yeah, I think Kimmel's going to have a good time with that one. That's still pretty funny. It is. <laughs> so, with a kid from UTSA in the Super Bowl, I mean, in the, in the NFC Championship yeah. game, he's on the 49ers. Do we have to root for the 49ers now? You root for who you want to, okay. but root for him to have I'll a good game. I'll root for him. For sure. I'm not sure about the 49ers yet. But then it's the Eagles. So then. See, and Cowboys fans, you can't root for either one of those. No, guys. that's brutal. So I'll just root for the individual player. How about that? <laughs> I'm still rooting for the Lions, so that's all I have to say about this. So. Oh, well, this year's Vaquero Cook-Off is about to begin, and today we are having a showdown. Yes, indeed. The teams are set. Team 210. Defending champs, baby. Team Two Stone. First place is Cook's Choice. And first year they were in it last year. We're the big winners because we get to eat. And the going to go, okay, if you had a team going, what would the team name be? Let us know at SA Live Peace Out on Facebook and Twitter what your team name would be if you were in the Vaquero Cook-Off. This is our happy space. Jen has her happy space. The start of the new year is a perfect time to transform and redecorate your home. On today's Happy Space on SA Live, we share the top 2023 trends for decor and design, hoping to give you some inspiration. Oh, and how about some inspiration for that big game day? Oh, and the food that you can have. The Hayden is here. We're with... really big winners, aren't we? More <laughs> yeah, food and food some and cocktails. great cocktails and mocktails. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have got some beautiful saxophone music. You're going to love this. <laughs> yes, all that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. All right, one last look at your forecast. Uh, we're going to see temperatures uh, warm up into the mid 50s today. 58 degrees, the high temperature. 58 tomorrow with increasing clouds, and then we'll get 
Uh, some showers, some drizzles, some shower activity on Saturday could be a little bit damp. 62, 70 on Sunday, clearing late and then cool and potentially rainy next week. Some good news there. Highs only in the 50s and we're still watching for some of those cool cloud formations outside. Getting more and more pictures in. We're going to have an article on our website here fairly soon. Meteorologist Mia Montgomery working on that. So check it out. KSAD.com. Guys. Thank you, Justin. And thank you for watching the news at noon. And now it's time for those snack ideas for the big football games this weekend mm. and on into the Super Bowl weekend. So that's that's what's good. Got to get ready. Yeah, you do. I say live search right now. Decor and design trends for 2023 on today's Happy Space. We share everything you need to know to get inspired. Plus, we are soothed by the sounds of the saxophone. A local jazz musician is dropping by to serenade us with his original works. And yep, the big game is coming up in a few weeks and we've got a local restaurant that's gonna help you figure out your game plan for game day eats. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. I'm Billy Ray Shepard and you're watching SA Live. And happy Thursday. We'll hear more from Billy Ray Shepard in just a bit. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster Hage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. And it's a showdown of the 2022 Vaquero Cookoff Champions. The 2023 Vaquero Cookoff begins next week, and we have a taste of what that competition will be like. Oh, yes. And I'll tell you one thing they've been smack talking already. And yeah, we've had to separate them over here right now. <laughs> Joining us, Robert Cortez, head chef, and Greg Stone, team leader. They were the overall 2020. 22 grand champions. Yes, sir. Yes, and also we have Ruben and Reina Diaz Perez, 2022 overall reserve champions from Team Tombstone. This is a battle of the 2022 Vaquero Cookoff champions. And here they all are. Okay, we have split them up, and we are going to be uh, taste testing here a little bit. So. You go first with your team. Peter. All right, Robert and Greg, what are we making? Well, today we're going to make uh, just something easy and fast, you know, just kind of showcasing a little bit of our heritage here. But who hasn't had, you know, steak quesadillas, right? Uh -huh. I mean, they're kind of at every party that we've ever had. So uh, that's what we're cooking today. And you're going to take that to the next level, right? Oh, you know it. That's what we do all the time. That's <laughs> Team 210's motto. <laughs> Any special tips or tricks? You know, uh, special <laughs> tricks, tips, cook from your heart, mm -hmm. and... Uh, I'm just using everything I learned from my mother, so that's what's that's what I'm using today. So is that where the recipes come from? Uh, a little bit of that, a little bit of Grandpa too. He's with us. All right. Okay. So we're gonna let this sizzle, which, by the way, is your nickname, right? That's right. <laughs> what's that noise called? Sizzle. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. That's right. Okay. I just had a taste of the ground beef got cooking over here, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious! Sure. Where'd you uh, get your secret recipe from? Okay, cheese. It man. is just a. Uh, mixture of trial and error. I mean, we, my mom, my grandma, put this, put that, get yeah. a little bit of that, get a little bit of this, and right here we are. And this dish right here is what you got for the cook's choice. Yes. What do we First have here? First place last year. This is so asada then. tacos, street tacos, mm -hmm. um, and uh, pastor tacos. And why'd you get started making street tacos? I have four boys. A lot of so, mouths to feed. Yes, you so we had to find an economic way of feeding all of them. So they love street tacos. This is what we That's came up with. Good. And last year was your first year to last enter, year. and yes. you got that. That must be a great awesome. feeling. It was very awesome. Yeah. And then you all have known each other mm -hmm. for a while yes. too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, the competition. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah they, they, they go at it a little bit, but... Uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> we've, we've known each other. We, our kids actually have the same pediatrician. So <laughs> that's how we met each other. Yeah. <laughs> but so, it's awesome. So what did it feel like when you won last year? Oh, man, uh, you know, that was just, you know, all the teamwork that we put in. You know, all the preparation that things people forget. Uh, getting just our equipment down here and cooking for everybody. Uh, you know, it was a, just a big relief, you know, that everything was worth it. Uh, and, you know, our team is just really close. You know, we, we've grown, uh, we've kind of grew up together now uh, in our later years. Uh, but my teammate, you know, John uh, Hernandez, big time, Menudo King over here. So, uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to him and, and our other teammates. So, 
because uh, you also took first place in the neutral last year. So oh, yes. In the individual. Yes, yes we did. And we took third place. You took third place. Yeah. Now, now there's four different categories yes. that you have to cook in. What are those? Um, it will be cooked choice, right. um, whatever we want to make. Arroz con pollo is the new one. Uh, yeah. Chili and menudo. Okay. What's so, your What's your favorite one to cook? I would have to say Cook's Choice because it, it really gives us a choice of what we want to put in and put our own little twist to it. And I'll tell you what, that whole pan of asada cooking right there, I can eat that whole thing. <laughs> what is your favorite to, uh, to cook? You know, honestly, uh, it's kind of tied. I love the chili con carne. You know, I've gotten first place on that, as mm -hmm. you can see here, last year. And, uh, you know, we have quite a bit of... Uh, you know, plaques to display, but... You're using the plaques we, to display. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we only had one table. Yeah. <laughs> one table, so, uh, you know, I love that, but Cook's Choice is a way to kind of showcase, you know, your mm -hmm. skills. And uh, I kind of dedicate that to my mom for my upbringing. You know, I spent a lot of time with her in the kitchen versus being in the garage with Dad. So this is all paying homage to my, my mother and, and all the skills she taught me. You know, everything tastes so good. These, oh my goodness, these What's street the tacos they are making are so yeah. fantastic. I have to get you some of that. And that quesadilla. Ooh. And guess what? You have a chance to taste all this as well because down here on Saturday the 4th, come on down and get free samples. Also, you can buy tickets because there is judging from folks there. So the tickets are $1 a piece or $25 for 20 bucks. And then you can put in your entries and have a say in what's going to be the best. And you can also buy some of the goods. And guess what they're competing for right here? Mm -hmm. That's the one. That's the yeah. one. Look at that belt <laughs> buckle. Got to add the grand one. champion. And of course, the Vicaro Cook-Off is going to be coming up. It's uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday right here at Historic Market Square. Register your team because they still have room for teams to uh, to compete, and yes. it's all for it. I'll tell you what. And if you go, you can vote there for the People's Choice Award. Yeah, this, oh my goodness gracious. Go there and have a wonderful time and enjoy all this wonderful food. Best of luck to yes. both of you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much. Delicious, right. delicious. All right, so today we had a team member of the Tombstones, yep. right, on the show. So what would our team name be? Well, you. Team SA Live? Is that yeah. a little too obvious? I like that. It's a little close. Team SA Live? <laughs> um, <laughs> team, team Gray Hair Silver Fox? <laughs> but that doesn't, that's not I me. I know, that doesn't apply to you. Okay. <laughs> we'll think about, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. I'm going to try All right, so we want to know, what would your Vaquero Cook-Off team name be? Let us know at SA Live KSOT on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer a little later in the show. Oh, that's good. Uh, isn't it though, right? Okay, oh, that's so good. it's a new year and that means new trends. Our yep. Jen Tobias Strusky has new decor trends for your home in 2023 on today's Happy Space. It's a new year and what better time than now to transform your home into the ultimate happy space. It can be done no matter what your budget is. Today we're getting help from local interior decorator Magdalena Mendez with Experimenting with Decor. Magdalena Mendez has over 100,000 followers on TikTok and 100,000 on Instagram. The San Antonio based decorator has made a name for herself through social media, showing off all kinds of transformations. Magdalena, thanks for having us. <laughs> And we're here at one of your clients' homes, Anthony, right? Right. So what kind of style does Anthony have? So Anthony has a transitional style. It's a little bit of traditional, a little bit of modern combined. And now we're talking 2023 and the trends for home decor and design that are on the rise. Right. So you have some for us to maybe get inspired if we want to do something right. in our homes. Okay, tell right. me, what are we starting so with? Right now we're starting with seating. So sofas, chairs, all of that stuff, um, they're looking at more uh, textured stuff, so like mm -hmm. Sherpa, velvet sofas, even this like tweed. Um, there's so many, so many beautiful round, you know, like 70s style is coming back too. So really? I love that. Now you also told me about the sociable kitchens, right? Everybody gathers there. So right. you want to make it more of a space that everybody can come together. Yeah, so if you're designing a space, a sociable kitchen is just somebody, somewhere where everybody can just socialize. So if you have a seating area or if you have, like when you're cooking, you have the access to the dining room or the access to the bar area where you can just mingle and talk to other people so that they can talk to each other or they can talk to you or yes. vice versa, just yes. sociable kitchens. Again, making it that happy place, right? right. That can come together now what about neutrals so neutrals are so pretty um, and th if they're done right they can make a space look 
amazing. Mm -hmm. And so they're using them in, on, on cabinets now, mm -hmm. they're using them in the furniture. I mean, neutrals are, can be, it, it expands all over the place, but neutrals have, have been a big impact this year okay. in 2022 and 2023, so it's gonna continue. So don't be scared, right? Don't be scared. Okay, yeah. all right, don't shy away from the neutrals. <laughs> and then uh, dark wood, making a comeback. Right. But, but not in the way I was hoping, because I haven't <laughs> done my floors, but you're saying maybe just a little bit here and there. Right, so like in this <laughs> living room, I brought in um, a coffee table with the darker woods, but everything else is kind of, you know, different kinds of woods, mm -hmm. but the darker um, woods is coming back in this year, just in a, not the entire <laughs> space. Don't bring in all of the okay. darker woods. So I still need to call you. you come <laughs> to my house and help me out. Splashes, splashes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we talk about lighting as art. This is something that I didn't know was trending, right. mm -hmm. but this is, and you can get it anywhere, no matter right. what your budget is, right? right? So lighting now, they're making it so that it's art. So it's like a focal point. I mean, from ceiling fans to just lighting sconces, like there's so many options. I think it's time that we head into the kitchen and meet Anthony, yes. see what he thinks about this beautiful transformation. What are you feeling now that you've seen this gorgeous transformation? Wow, I was so super impressed. <laughs> I mean, at best, I had a foggy idea of what I liked, mm -hmm. um, but Magdalena really helped me to hone in on that. I knew I liked clean lines, uh, but I didn't know that that meant a transitional style. She helped me define that and see what that was. I really wouldn't have been able to do this myself. I mean, <laughs> I have, I'm a single dad of a three-year-old. I also, you know, take care of my mom. I'm a general counsel. I just don't have the time. Right. And to be quite honest, I didn't have the talent. You know, <laughs> Magdalena brought the time and the talent, and they did everything from soup to nuts. I walked in one day, and I saw all of this. Yeah. I was so impressed. <laughs> yes, and more befores and afters can be found on yes. Magdalena's TikTok. <laughs> can you please share your handle? So my handle on all social media is experimenting with decor, and we experiment and have a good time. For more inspiration, you can head to salive.com and click the Happy Space tab. SA Live continues by finding the right fit for your bathroom remodel and save big money with a special deal on shower installations 50% off. That's Billy Ray Shepard performing original music. We have more great tunes headed your way next on SA Live. Let's rodeo San Antonio. The cattle are coming. Live from downtown San Antonio. The Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. There they are. Saturday, February 4th at 11 a.m. KSAT 12 coverage powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealer. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we don't get to enjoy very many saxophonists on the show, but today we are definitely getting a treat. Billy Ray Shepard, saxophonist with Second Sunday Jazz, joins us. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Happy to be here. First of all, how long have you been playing the saxophone? Oh, it's been a long time. <laughs> Back, long enough, right? Yeah, long enough. There you go. I like that answer. Yes. Tell me enough. about Second Sunday Jazz. Second Sunday, it's uh, Second Sunday Smooth Jazz, and it's a concert series that I started probably about 10 years ago, uh, and it went on through uh, up to COVID. You know, the, in 2020 and 2021, I had to cancel the shows, but I just recently started kicking them back off again, and it's a monthly show, um, and uh, there's always a, a charity component. Uh, part of that, but it's a it's a opportunity for me to showcase my band and my music, and give. Um concert goers and San Antonians a, a place to go and have a good time. Now you mentioned charity being a part of it. Why is it important for you to give back to a nonprofit? Well, two things. Uh, music is uh, is very important to me and it's, it's allowed me to um, raise my family and do everything that I do now. So that's one component because I want to give back to music what it's given to me. But the other thing is uh, I grew up here on the east side of San Antonio and my grandmother just uh, you know, she was able to do so much with so little but she also um, taught me that it's a very important to give back, never forget where you come from and give back. So, uh, so that's what I'm doing. And so you have two original songs for us today. What inspired them? The, the first is a song entitled Silk, and um, it's 
the inspiration was just the that was my that was on my off my first album, and um, it was just a way for me to express how I felt about the genre of smooth jazz, you know, and it's got that silky sound. So that's that was the inspiration for that. The second is it's the weekend, and that came from a different place. That one uh, I wrote just after. Uh, we went through COVID, so it was an exciting time. Places were starting to open up and people mm -hmm. were starting to stare about. So the phrase, it's the weekend, actually had some meaning at that point. <laughs> yes, so. yes, it did, especially then. Mm -hmm. And you've played at the AT&T Center, right? I've had uh, the opportunity. I've played the, the national anthem. And uh, yeah, so that was a wonderful experience. Looking forward to doing that again. And where can folks see you next? Well, on March 12th, uh, it'll be my next second Sunday. I'm not doing February because of the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. But the next one will be March 12th. It's a Sunday, 6.30 to 9.30. And my charity for that month uh, will be uh, the Miss Black San Antonio pageant, Miss Biera. And just real quickly, if I can, mm -hmm. when I first started, and I won't say how long, because she might not appreciate that, though. <laughs> but, long um, enough. Yeah, long enough. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I had a, a, a big problem facing the people while I play, you know, mm -hmm. but she was very instrumental in uh, getting me over the fear of, of facing people. People and it was it was a great experience. But now what she does uh, is she has this pageant for for young African American uh, ladies and uh, that are leaving high school. And such is, it's such a wonderful event. She's been doing this for 50 years by herself. So I, I just want to showcase her at my event. Um, the event is a jazz concert, but there's a dinner included. And of course, everyone will have the opportunity to, to meet Miss Biera, hear her story, and then um, the, the charity component is the the concert goers will make donations to to you know her cause all right Billy Ray Shepard thank you so much for more information all you have to do is head to our website salive.com and click on the as seen on SA live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen <laughs> later on in the show. Hey, football season is wrapping up. You know where you're going to get your game day eats? We do. Stick around. Plus, finally get to the bathroom remodel you've been needing this year and save big money with a special deal on shower installations 50% off. We'll tell you all about it. Need a bath or shower upgrade? You can support a veteran-owned business that specializes in American-made bathroom fixtures. And here to tell us all about what they do is Ali Stringer, who is the Custom Happiness Manager. Yes. Great title, by the way, of Thank I you. Need a Shower. And a special deal for SA Live viewers. Yes. Welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, bathroom model can be a lot. Yes. Sometimes folks don't know where to start. Where do they start? So you start with coming up with ideas. So you do your brainstorming, get important family members together, decide what you're looking for. So a good example is our most popular service is a tub to shower conversion. And that's because customers are tired of tripping and slipping over their tub. They want a beautiful walk-in shower, and that's where we come in. And the shower curtain and all that business. Yep. So you get the goal, you get that vision in mind, then what's next? Then they give us a call. We set up a free in-home consultation. We essentially bring the showroom to the customer. So we have samples, we go over design and layout to make sure that we're achieving the goal they have in mind. Okay, when you do something like this, there are a million different questions. <laughs> what are the ones that are usually at the top of the list? So the big ones are, what can we do in their space? So we go through, do measurements, do layouts, help them with that. Also, how long it takes. The actual 
typical remodel, our typical one is about two days. And that's to completely, exactly tear it out and remove it with a brand new shower, because that's all we do. Really? So one day yep. there's your old one, two days later there's your new one? You got it. And that's it. Now one thing, be it a shower or a tub, a lot of times, and especially with tubs, you know, if you want to use a shower, you got that shower curtain, but you mm -hmm. specialize in glass doors on both, right? Absolutely. So we can do custom glass doors on showers or tubs. And what's great is it's actually the glass is made right here in San Antonio. So our turnaround time, yep, is absolutely unbeatable. So we're able to typically get in, do the measurements, get you a custom glass door in as little as five days. That's from ordering it to the installation. You bet. And yep. then if you're doing the whole tub and the whole conversion, two days, like you said. Yep. And that's what's great about us is a lot of uh, a lot of other companies they outsource that process. We keep it in house, so we make sure that we're delivering the best service and speed to our customers. And you know, don't just do showers, but then you do tubs also. Correct. So we do tub remodels, full bathroom remodels, as well as shower glass doors. Okay. Now you have a special deal for SA yes. Live viewers, right? To make yes. it affordable. Yes, absolutely. And last I checked this morning, we still had some of our vouchers left for 50% off of installation. Okay, and you are a veteran-owned businesses and of course specializing in American-made. Why is that so important? Well, that's important for a couple of reasons. One, we're able to support fellow Americans. Uh, it also means we don't have the supply chain issues that some of our competitors have. And because we're veteran-owned, we do offer discounts for seniors and veterans every day. Okay, well, all you have to do is call I Need a Shower this month and get 50% off your shower installation. They also have, as she mentioned, veteran and senior discounts plus zero percent financing options or discounts for paying in cash. Just call 210-871-0442 and for more information visit the website INeedAShower.com. Allie, thank you very much. Thank nice you. With you. Absolutely. Still ahead, Billy Ray Shepard shares another one of his beautiful songs. And plan your game day meal before kickoff happens. The Hayden joins us with to-go options for the big football game. That's next on SA Live. Can't wait to taste that. Well, I already have. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the big game's coming up, and an easy way to take the stress out of meal planning is food to go at the Hayden. And showing us this touchdown of a menu is head chef Bill Corbett from the Hayden. Hey guys, yes, how are we doing today? Oh, it smells amazing already. What you've got sizzling on there. Yes. Right? So what are we making? So we are going to do uh, pastrami and turkey sliders. So okay. for the game day we're offering, uh, we have our smoked whitefish dip, pimento cheese, crispy Brussels sprouts, and then you have your choice of either pastrami or turkey sliders. Or we can do uh, half and half, which is what we're going to demonstrate right now. So, okay. so the first step for you guys right there, uh, Russian dressing on the turkey side, pastrami on the deli mustard side. Okay. And then what kind of, this is a um, egg? What kind of bun? Uh, it is a uh, sweet hollow roll All that right. we get from our uh, okay. bread baker uh, slow dough out of Houston. Okay. Okay. So we're slathered up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then. And then. All right. Let's make a little room here. I'm going to come in with a hot skillet. <laughs> okay. And like you said, mm -hmm. all of these little sliders and this whole, everything you see right here, you can order and you're just going to be, oh, look at how good that turkey looks. You'll be oh, the MVP of the game day area. <laughs> oh, and he doesn't scrimp either. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. And the pastrami, of course, made in-house, oh. right? Made in-house, the turkey in-house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically from our Ted Dance sandwich. This came in number five in uh, Chuck Blunt and uh, Mike Stutter's top 10 sandwiches list for the year. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ted was doing the dance. So, yeah. <laughs> what, what's your secret to good turkey and good pastrami? <sighs> just really just keep it simple. That's kind of our mentality over there. Just get out of the way of the stuff. So with our turkey, it's salt, black mm -hmm. pepper, a little bit of brown sugar. We slather it in mayonnaise, and mm -hmm. then we smoke it for an hour, and then just finish roasting the oven. Uh, pastrami is just, you know, brining it in-house. Then we smoke it for about six hours with hickory wood, and then we steam them overnight. Oh wow. Is it best to go long ways and then cut across, you think, or just... Yeah. Woo there we go. Ooh, and of course, what steak. else did you bring here? So yeah, so, so these are, uh, you know, you got the pimento mm -hmm. cheese, the smoked whitefish dip, just guys fun dippy stuff, and then, you know, crispy Brussels sprouts. It's always a crowd favorite with us. Something a little bit lighter for uh, game day. 
Now, okay. is this just for game day, or do you have this at any time of the year? Well, most of the stuff we already have. So the Brussels sprouts, we definitely have the appetizer, pimento cheeses from our happy hour menu, the uh -huh. smoked white fish, you can always come in and have that. That's always on uh, our regular menu. And as far as takeout, always? Always, yeah. Okay. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Joyrun, Favor. <laughs> mm. Even all through our own website, all too. Of them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could only eat one of these, Bill, what would it be? The, the uh, pastrami or the uh, turkey? Ooh. I know. It's always Put a tough one. I was, I was slicing turkey this morning and I was joking around with the guys just how amazing this turkey is every time that we have it. It's so mm, simple, mm, but it is mm, so, so okay. good. Mm. That is mm. the most moist turkey you have ever put in your mouth. Or I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, they'll have a chance to put that in their mouth on game day, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, if you want to, excuse me, I need to, I'm throwing my mouth up. Order, how far in advance do you need to, to order this? You can start ordering as of today. So you should be able to go on our website right now and order, and then through Thursday before game day. And the pickup will be on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And let's talk about some of these accolades. Second place for best brunch. We brunch and we brunch hard over the day. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, hard, what's yes. the best thing on the brunch menu? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all pretty good. Uh, the barbacoa omelet's always a classic. Our fried chicken and locky waffle. People just can't seem to get enough of that one. Uh, beet and egg toast for some of the more healthy, conscious people. So we have a really great uh, beet hummus that we do. So it's really just nice and purple with some rye toast and a nice egg overcooked with some arugula salad. I mean, you just really can't go wrong. And then you still have like our pastrami and our turkey sandwiches, the Ted Danson, the Larry David. I mean, it's just, it's all just good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Okay. okay, this will make you happy. And again, just pick it all up. You were all set to go. Can you um, just reheat this in the oven or something or in the microwave? Yeah, so it's all going to be set up in uh, packaging and we'll have reheating instructions for it as well. Okay. And so it's $70 for the pastrami sliders. It's 12 of them. This is a half order. $70 mm -hmm. for the turkey sliders. Uh, white fish and Brussels sprouts is each 24. That's $15.99 for the pimento cheese. All of it. So you're going to get 12 turkey sliders, 12 pastrami sliders, and the three sides for $160. And it feeds about eight, eight people. Tree. About yeah. eight-ish, yeah. Or four really hungry people. So <laughs> yes. oh, thank you so right. much. And a new location is going to be opening up out there. It's coming on the horizon at the Elan Market. So All right. look for us there. Right there out on the military. All right. For more information on the Hayden, just head to our website, salive.com. And click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, Dry January is still going strong, and the Hayden's going to join us again with some mocktails from their bar. All right, we got an encore performance from saxophonist Billy Ray Shepard. Don't miss the music, that's next. Welcome back to SNI. Billy Ray Shepard has another song to share with us. Don't forget, you can hear him perform a second Sunday smooth jazz concert where part of the proceeds go to nonprofit organization that takes place March 12th at 6:30 and 9:30 p.m. Take it away, Billy Ray. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can hear a lot more when he performs a second Sunday smooth jazz concert where part of the proceeds go to nonprofit organizations. Next, cheers to dry January. We sip on mocktails from the Hayden's Bar. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, dry January is coming to an end, and you need just a little last, if you need it to last a little bit longer, pardon me, but if you still have the feeling of getting a great cocktail at the bar, then the Hayden has you covered with some delicious mocktail recipes. Yes, Destiny Sanchez, bartender at the Hayden, is here. All right, what mocktails are we making? We're starting over here, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so we got a everything but the kitchen sink, and I'll walk you through that one right now. Okay. So I'm going to come over with you, and oh, we're going to make it together. Okay. Pass it over here's and tell me what to do here. Here's so. the top. All right. You can pour a little bit. I'm going to come on this side. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, just pour a little bit of that. One, Lime two, three, juice. four. Perfect. Okay. And the same with this simple bottle. It's just a little bit of sugar water. One, two, three, four. Perfect. I like okay. this. A little bit of pineapple juice. One, two, three, four. All right. That's Orange all I can, juice. Good thing this recipe is only up to four. That's all I can do. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And then some pomegranate juice and vanilla. One, two, three, four, Perfect. five. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> then and a little bit of vanilla, just a few shakes. Just a All right, awesome. Perfect. Okay. And then go ahead and put the top on. Top on. Make sure it's tight and shake it up. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then you could throw shake it in it the so glass. easy. There we go. <laughs> okay. And pour it in here. Yeah. And there we go. How pretty. Uh, voila. And then just add ice. I got the ice over there by you. Okay. <laughs> Toss Yay. a scoop in there. <laughs> All righty. A couple more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And little, then you could top it off with the lime. A little Perfect. garnish of lime. <laughs> I and love the teamwork. I love the teamwork. Cheers. All yeah. right. It's okay. refreshing. No alcohol. And what am I making over here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got the cucumber soda Ooh, for wow. you. Mm -hmm. Wow. You like That's it? That's got a great awesome. tang to it. Here's mm. your glass. Okay. You could throw a few um, halves of cucumber in there. Okay. They're right here. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then the lime juice I'll grab for you. Here you go. Okay. Throw some of that in? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then just a little bit of sugar water. Okay. And then you're going to muddle it. So we're going to crush it up a little so you can taste the cucumber. Here you go. Squish you always it up. know a really good Squish bartender it. when, mm -hmm. even on a set like this, she's taking over yeah, here and just loves it. So, <laughs> so sure. okay. what would be one of your favorite cocktails Ooh. on the menu over there for lots of Over folks? there at the Hayden, we have a really good painkiller frozen that we always have. And then Ooh. you put the top on, yeah. And just shake it up. What? And it's delicious. It has rum, pineapple, orange juice, and then, of course, coconut in there. It's really refreshing. Okay, this here. would be great. It's all juices in the morning to, to mm -hmm. get you going because boy, that's got yeah. a punch to it with yeah. those wonderful juices. And that's in on there. the menu at the Hayden, a non-alcoholic. In case you are wondering, go okay. ahead and add ice and topo chico, and but you're if, all done. But if you wanted to, what would you add to this? If you wanted to make it a if I wanted a to cocktail? booze it up a little bit, I would love some vodka or tequila in there. Okay. That's my preference, but I think too? it's pretty versatile. You can add whatever you like. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this would okay. this would be good Yay. in slushy Perfect. form too. Perfect, and then just a few cucumbers on top, and you're all good to go. Okay. Oh, you're going to have to taste this. So, okay, and then you do have one mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the grown ups alcohol. over there, right? It does yes. have alcohol, yeah. Just so, in case you were not doing dry January like me, I am not participating. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. So, what are you making now? I'm going to make a matcha, cute, uh, it's a matcha coconut drink that I usually make at at the bar whenever I'm off my shift or something like that, or maybe for a coworker. Okay. If they wanted to come by. So I add two ounces of coconut rum. I use Rum Haven, but you can use Malibu, whatever you have. It's really easy. There's only four things in here, too. And while you're mm -hmm. making that, mm -hmm. of course, Bill made the, the turkey slider yes. and the pastrami slider. Yes. What, what cocktails well? yes. would you put Ooh. with those sandwiches? I would do either just a really good beer or an old-fashioned. I think that's pretty versatile, too. Old-fashioned goes with everything, I think, so. Okay, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> it's really good. And of course, don't forget the Hayden Dolls has the new uh, location that's going to be opening up soon over there in the Elan Center, which is over there at Military, right mm -hmm. there at Wurzbach. Yes. That huge HEB and everything else over there. So, 
All right. Yeah. Well, she's finishing that. For more information on the Hayden, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Mm, Destiny, thank yes, you very much. Of that, course, that, yeah. That really good. I love that. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, get ready to rumble. One of wrestling's biggest superstars is here at Market Square. We chat with him before he jumps into the ring for the Royal Rumble. Plus, barbecue lovers, get ready where you can see some of the world's most competitive barbecue teams facing off right here in the Alamo City. It's tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All right. Earlier we asked you what would be your Vaquero cook-off team name. All right, Lori says, Mike and Fiona, your team. <laughs> Team Salt and Pepper. Mine would be Team Mommy Play. Lori, I like it. <laughs> it kind of fits your personality, the pepper, the spicy one there. So. Hey, yesterday, of course, was Wednesday, and it was all about that show Wednesday. And thank you so much to Nadia from Nerdia Cat Makeup. She did our beautiful, she's done our Halloween shows mm -hmm. in the past. She will do glamour makeup for you mm -hmm. if you're doing uh, pictures, wedding, anything like that. Just wonderful. Thank you I so know. much. Thank you so much, Nadia. She made us look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, the transformations that she does is amazing. And also, we learned how to do the dance, too. My we wife did. even commented on that. She goes, oh, you learned the Wednesday dance. She did. So, I yeah. know. You were doing a little jig earlier. Well, it wasn't that dance, so. Anyway. <laughs> okay, my boots are dirty, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do it without a performance camera. I get nervous. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs>